So today, as you can tell, we're welding. That's right. In this video today, we're going to tackle a couple of the problem areas on the Yugo. One of them being the frame rail. And so what we got to do is we got to cut out some cardboard templates, transfer that over to a piece of metal, and weld it in. Almost like we know what we're talking about. So let's get the cardboard cutouts made and jump into welding. Or pretending to weld. Because I'm not a welder. So two of the problem areas uh, were what we identified the last video. We've got this section right here that we cut out because it was bad. So we're going to have to put a piece in here. And if you'll notice, it's quite a bit narrower up here than it is down here. So that piece is going to be a special cut. It looks like it's about the same all the way up to where the strut tower kind of dips into it. And then down here, we've got this piece that we cut out because it was rotten. So we're going to have to put a piece of plate on the top. And we may have to cut out a little bit more to make... Uh, to make a decent size patch for there as well. So we're gonna get some cardboard. Um, you know, the thinner stuff is probably better because it's easier to cut. Maybe something like a beer box. Hmm. Can I find an empty beer box around here? I may not be able to find an empty one, but I can sure make an empty one real quick. No, I wasn't gonna drink them all to empty the box. I just emptied them out of the box into the fridge. Sunday. Anyways, uh, we've got a box here, so let's get to measuring and cutting. So I did keep the piece that I cut out of there, and as we can tell, this straight edge comes down here and goes straight right to about here, and then it kind of takes it a little bit of a different turn and goes back to this corner here. So we can use this as a template for both pieces, not just up here, but down here. So we're going to transfer that over to a piece of cardboard and uh, to get this shape here and then we can just kind of score along the bottom uh, to make sure that we get the piece that we need down there so let's go over to the workbench and by workbench i mean big blue parts collector okay so we've got a piece of cardboard cut out here and all i'm going to do is i want to be able to take this piece right here and lay it right on that edge just like so and our edges here and here line up so all we're going to do is we're just going to trace roughly where that line is right there. If I roll that over a little bit, that comes up a little bit more, I think. So we're gonna try and connect here, up like so. We'll cut out all that, and then down here, where the bottom section is, we'll hold that up against the car and we'll trace it out along the bottom. On this side here, we're going to do just the same thing with another piece of cardboard. We're going to take this and we're going to lay it down like so. We're going to trace it where we think it needs to be and then we'll cut that one out as well. Okay, so now that we've got these pieces cut out, I've just gone and I found where this transitions from this angle to this angle and I've just bent that piece of cardboard. So there We've got our piece, so all I'm gonna do now, we'll tape this together, if I can find some tape, and go put it on the car, see what it looks like. All right, so we've got our piece cut out, and it looks like it's a little bit, I think it's plenty long enough. I think we can weld it in there, no problem. Our distance from there to there is good, but we got a little gap in there, so we're gonna have to fill that in. So, that's sitting right there and we need to bring that line right there yeah so that's got to come in a little bit and then taper back this way a little more so let's go grab some more cardboard so the way that we're going to find out what angle or what that is just run your marker parallel just like that. And now we know that we can cut this out, cut that out, tape this to the top of that once we get it cut and find out where that where those marks need to be. Let me go do that. All right, so we've got that cut. And now, once we get that set in there, traced onto a piece of metal, we should be able to just, just zing that back in there and, uh, and attack that into place. 
down here we're going to take our marker we're going to trace the back side of this cardboard so we know where the bottom of that frame rail is and uh, i don't have anything here to bend it so i can't bend it under so we're going to tack it into place and uh, and weld it so let's uh let's trace that out and then we can get to uh, cutting out our metal all right so now that that's cut that whole section right there should fit right down in there no problem just like so now what we'll do is we'll take this little jig apart transfer all those uh, shapes over to a piece of metal get her cut so we've got our metal out here and this is where i realized that this three inch piece of metal is not quite <laughs> big enough dang it yeah not quite because you see when i measured that i measured that at uh two and a half but down here when you go from that corner to that point that's three and then it kind of zigs and zags so really you got to go from the longest point here to the tallest point here well you end up with this so if i get this piece cut when it comes time to actually uh, cut this piece i can shave a little bit off of it down here because i guess it's going to go this way because then i can just kind of butt it up against there so if i cut this out and make it maybe like an eighth wider uh, I should have plenty of room to take the, the side piece, just kind of slide it up and make it fit like so. At least that's how we're going to try it. Okay, so we've got the first piece all cut out. Uh, I have done a little bit of trimming um, and we will bevel the edges to accept a weld. But if we take this and we... Uh, Take that, we put it right into place. We got a little bit of a gap up there at the top, but we shouldn't have any problem filling that in. And it fits pretty good against the outside edge. And it gives us a little bit to weld on for that side piece. So we're gonna get the welder all set up and you guys are gonna watch me screw this up. Here goes everything. Well, that's a big gob of goo. But it's in there. I guess we just keep going. These gloves are so thick, I can't even pull the trigger. And I need some light. I'm gonna try it without one glove because that thing is just too bulky. Well, that wasn't horrible. All right, let's carry on. That's a pretty good looking bead. Still gotta grind it, but I'm okay with that. Semi-pro, that's exciting. All right, let's carry on. I mean, come on, just look at it. Look at that. We're only burning a little bit of the undercoating on the other side. That's where the smoke's coming from, so. Um, probably gonna go find something to uh, put the fire out. I'm welding. <laughs> I'm in danger. Well, let's get a closer look at this mess. Um, 
We didn't do too bad in some places, and well, we completely buggered it up in others. Um, but like, look at the welds, like right in there. And, and I mean, I'm not, it's not great. It's not dimes by no means, but like it's pretty smooth. Over here, I had to fill some holes. So the grinder will take care of that. We can go back and see what we're looking at. But I mean, I'm not, I'm not really embarrassed. Um, I might be once I see some of your guys' comments, but uh, we'll take the flat disc of that, get that smoothed out, see what it looks like, see how many holes and how much garbage is in there. But uh, yeah, we got our first patch panel put in this thing, guys. And that makes me pretty excited. And if there's one thing to take away from this, it's if you're ever afraid to try something or start something new, don't. You just gotta do it. Just do it. Just do it! Because if you don't, you'll never learn. Is that professional? No. Is it acceptable? Probably not by very many people, but it is by me because I, I learned how to do it. Um, and I'm not joking when I say go watch a YouTube video. There's channels out there that will help you hone your skills and teach you the distances and the power and the, uh, the speed of the, 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 the thing coming out of the end of the thing. I mean... If, you, if you're ever wondering how to weld or paint or do mechanic work or anything like that, don't be afraid to watch a YouTube video. We always joke about people being YouTube certified. Well, there's people out there that you don't follow and there's people out there that you do. Um, I'd like to think that I'm one of the guys that you do, not with welding. Don't follow me for welding tips because I don't have very many. Uh, but when it comes to mechanical stuff, it's pretty basic, really. Well, the time to learn is now. Anyways. I'll get the flap disc, I'll get this cleaned up, we'll take a look, see how, see just how bad it really is. So we took the flapper disc to it, over here on this side it cleaned up really well. Over here we got a few uh, holes or pock marks or whatever you want to call it, but the holes filled in and uh, that interior, well, we're just going to have to be happy with it. So now we've got to get our other piece cut to fit and, well... I had to make it into two pieces so that it would fit this piece of three inch stock that I had. So what I did was I cut it in half, I labeled them A and B. All it's done for me is make me cut more, that's all. So I'm gonna get this thing cut and uh, we'll have to install these separately because they just wouldn't fit here. So I'm gonna see if I can get these two pieces cut out. We'll get them welded in as well. So word to the wise, if you're wearing old navy jeans, They don't like sparks being pointed directly at them. Just saying. All right, so there's our two metal pieces. Uh, they look just like the template that I cut out. That's a pretty darn good weld right there. If I do say so myself. Now we've got all three pieces welded in there. Um, bubble gum, scrap metal, a little bit of Bondo, lipstick and a pig. Hey, we'll have her looking like brand new here in no time. Um, the welding is getting a little bit better. Like for instance, check out that bottom weld down there. That's not too shabby, I don't think. And then that middle one, and then that one, and then that one, and that one. Don't look at everything in between that connects them. Um, I think with a little more practice, we'll be laying dimes here in no time. It's a good thing we've gotten this far because uh, it's taken me literally all afternoon to put three pieces of metal in that frame. Um, I'm going to grind that out and I'm going to get some primer on it so it doesn't flash rust. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to call that good for me anyway. Um, and then once I get a little more comfortable with the, the actual welding, uh, we can go ahead and start working in some of those seams that we grinded out in the last video, which is right up uh, over here. So if you guys aren't yet subscribed, this is a good time for me to tell you, hit the like button and make sure you're subscribed to Old Car Guy. We've got lots more video coming on this You go to project. We've only scratched the surface. Um, we'll be working away at this probably over the next year. And uh, I'm thinking I ain't gonna be driving it this year anyways. Let's put it that way. 
And with camping season coming up real soon, well, priority man. Anyway, um, let's get this grind thing. Well, we've got that section there pretty much done. Uh, all we got to do is spray some primer on it, keep it from rusting, and uh, we can kind of move on to the next thing. I'm going to get some practice welding in over the next week or so on some thinner metal. That stuff is pretty thick. It's hard to mess it up. But when you start going into these body panels, well, that's another thing. Pretty thin stuff, and you don't want to be burning through it. So I'm going to get some practicing done, and I may even record that. I don't know. But uh, nevertheless, thank you guys for sticking with me on this video and seeing how I've kind of retrained or relearned myself on learning how to MIG weld. It's been a blast, even though I made lots of mistakes. And of course I bubble gummed my welds and had to grind them all out. But anyways, we had fun. I had fun. I hope you guys had fun watching and I hope you tune in to the next video. You guys so far are liking these you go to videos and uh, don't forget if you are, Hit that thumbs up down below. One last thing, old Car Guy merch, including the new Yugota t-shirts, well, not this one, uh, are available. The first link in the description box below, if you buy one of those, I get a couple bucks for every sale. We can put that towards the Yugota project. I'm gonna need lots of stuff to make sure that we beat Alan over at Compass Garage with his Yugo. So thanks again for watching, guys. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you, God bless. Let's do it again real soon.